right, so Wizard Tower Games anonymously threatened with ruin over working relationship with TSR Games. <laughs> um, an anonymous individual has reportedly threatened to ruin Wizard Tower Games by declaring them the enemy of those out there who stand for tr- certain people's rights. Um <laughs> I don't know if I can say it without, you know, getting banned from YouTube. So, uh, inclusiveness and gaming. Wait a minute. Like, what is, I don't, I don't know. When did they get accused of that? That's a very specific group they're claiming that they're not. Where are they getting this stuff? They don't even have a book out. I mean, they were there. What have they done about (laughs) that particular group's rights that they don't even have a book? You know, I mean, they, they maybe maybe they just threw that in there because they're like, well, it worked with Dave Chappelle. Um, no, it didn't. Well, no, no, it didn't. But <laughs> it, was, it was a joke. Yeah. Um, TSR hasn't published anything. Uh, the uh, the guy that actually owned the license or the copyright to TSR let it lapse. So one uh, one of the Gygax uh, sons decided to pick it up and now is going to try to begin printing more tabletop content under the TSR license, which, you know, is, is will be interesting to see what kind of content they come, come out with because uh, we've been very vocal about our displeasure with the way Wizards of the Coast is changing a lot of our childhood, um, uh, the way that we remember tabletop back in second edition, third edition, uh, but the way they're changing the way that the different races work and that kind of stuff, it's, it's not something that we're super interested in. Uh, so I am kind of curious to see if maybe we can get back to some hardcore fantasy D&D uh, that is going to be more in line to what we have enjoyed previously as opposed to uh, some of the rule changes that they're making nowadays with uh, Wizards of the Coast. Um, so, yeah, no, th- this is a, uh, the e- – I don't know why they're attacking them other than trying to get – uh, them to prevent from going to this convention that's, that's coexisting with uh, was it Gygax Con. Uh, so I think that's kind of the the root cause of this letter is so because both conventions are on the same weekend with the intention of hey go to one one day go to the other one the second day but they're, for some reason they're not wanting any competition with the, uh, the other convention so um, it is kind of concerning that they're throwing around those those buzzwords to try to stir up controversy where there actually is none. Oh, yeah. I mean, the way I see it, it's starting to get to the point now where kind of like that one movie where they would go shoot you because you might do a crime in the future. They've gotten so offended, so sensitive, and so woke that they literally now are trying to pre-cancel. Like, they're trying to cancel people before they actually do anything. But to do that, you have to assume what someone's going to do. So it's getting, this is how dumb it's gotten. They don't have any books out, yet they're saying the books are going to be anti-trans. I'm going to say it. And that's a powerful accusation because there's no books. See what I'm saying? There's no book. So it's like, how do you know? What are you, huh? That's where we're getting. That's literally where we're getting to. We're getting to a point now where they're pre-canceling you which means they're just guessing at this point. They're just going, eh, your books are probably going to be anti-trans. So I'm going to go ahead and start canceling and threatening and calling people and writing crazy emails. And it's like, you don't know what his books are going to be about because they're not out. I, I'm pissed. Like, I was, like, very, like, early I was ranting about this before the show started because I was just like, they're literally canceling stuff that doesn't exist now. They've got to the point where they're so crazy, they're canceling things that don't exist. Well, That's I mean, where we at. dude, the, uh, the, 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 the email is so, it's so poorly written at that. The English is bad in it. Um, it, you know, it, it acts like, honestly, I feel like this thing has been written by a 10 year old or eight year old kid. Um, they're ruining their children too. Yes, I agree. You know, the raisin little crybabies. This, uh, you do not know us. And this email is being sent via an encrypted and trackless manner. You know, like, oh, look at the bold. You do not want us to, to get on, on Twitter, Twitter and begin talking oh, about you. Oh my God, Twitter! Oh, oh Lordy, Lordy! Oh no, not the Twitter! Yeah, 
Don't Twitter me. Don't go to the toxic toxic cesspool of Twitter and start <gasps> your toxic cesspool bullshit. <laughs> you know, just like, oh no, help me, Lordy, Lordy. I'm just like, and that's help exactly me smart. exactly why I canceled my Twitter account. <laughs> yeah. I deleted my Twitter two months ago. I just I can't take their bullshit anymore. The toxicity is just so vile and the vitriol. I was like, you know what? If I spend any more time reading this bullshit, I'm actually going to go ahead and hang myself. Well, so I've, I've had enough with it. So yeah, they can they can have Twitter. All don't the, say that the they want you. Can... <laughs> they want you. I'm not on Twitter anymore, so I don't give a shit. All the, I mean, all all those woke bullshit wankers can can go fuck themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I mean, Twitter is just a constant argument pool, and it's people making <laughs> nonsenseless arguments on both sides, back and forth. And it's just like most 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 people you talk to who actually utilize Twitter that are celebrity stuff like that, they don't read anything on Twitter. They post there. That's it, you know. And uh, like all that other stuff happening on Twitter, eh? It makes it a good place to post stuff because it is active. And I mean, you can't you can't deny the fact that it's active. But most people on Twitter say shit just to hear themselves talk. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not changing anything. It doesn't really do anything. You know, it's like one of the articles that we turned down, you know, talking about today, it was literally an article about somebody said something stupid on Twitter. And, uh, and then they made an entire, entire article on it that acted like this was a massive multi-person idea but it only had one reference, and that was some person's random Twitter message, you know? And it, it's like Twitter is where people go when they have nothing else to talk about and they want to grab something toxic and then make a deal out of it out in the real world. They're like, oh, what toxic thing will I grab out of here today? Oh, let's talk about Michael Myers being a homophobe, you know? Uh, well, no, no. He's only allowed to kill children and every other thing yeah. on the planet, but he's not allowed to kill gay people. Yeah, because yeah. they're special, and you can't. So we're going to write this people. article that this one random dude, which honestly it sounded like they were being sarcastic about it anyway, you know, you posted the, you, up on we, Twitter. We went to their site. They weren't being sarcastic. That was a group of chuckle fucks. And, uh, oh, I doubt it. I mean, dude. Yeah, well, You're so well, optimistic. You just he's amazing. Well, Zeno is the optimist out of us. I, I looked at some of the other posts. They were all over the place. So I, I mean, I, I feel like they didn't say anything serious on that Twitter account. Oh no, I mean, um, Twitter's a cesspool, dude. But it's anyway, yeah. Off topic. There. Point is, I mean, this is this is dumb. And, yeah, you're threatening a company about doing something. Hadn't even done anything yet. The only reference they really make is this Lanaza guy who I think was like a tattoo artist or something and apparently had two girls fight over a position. Um, I like the way they threaten to destroy their business on Twitter. They're literally yeah. threatening. This is their behavior. They threaten you. They try to bully you. They try to intimidate you. And I'm going to tell you something. You can always tell who's right in any argument by their behavior. Yeah. If one side's making game books and another side's threatening people, like, all this thing is filled with threats, just filled with threats. You kind of know who the bad guy is. It's really not hard. They can try to say whatever they want. They can try to play the cards. I'm this, so I'm not bad. Okay, what are you saying? <laughs> well, I told him I'm going to ruin his business. He better do what I say, and I threaten him, and I send him cryptic. Okay, you're not the good guy. No, but you don't understand. I'm trying to make things better. That doesn't make things better. Even if they listen to you, they're not listening to you because you've come to an understanding. They're not listening to you because you've convinced them to be better. They're listening to you because they folded to the threat, which means they'll fold to the other threat to go the other way. Like, that's not a healthy way to accomplish anything. We know we have these real talks every night, and I'll keep it short. Just say that's not healthy. You're not accomplishing anything. I could put a gun to someone's head and say, don't be racist. And they'll go, okay, did I stop racism? No, that person probably hates black people twice as much as they used to. And when I move away with my gun, they're going to go on and tell everybody about that friggin' N-word, N-word and put a gun to his head and told him not to be racist. You're not accomplishing anything. You're not. You're, you're only making people 
There have been times that some of this stuff has been so offensive, it's almost pushed me to being homophobic. Like, it's almost made me hostile because they're so aggressive and egregious in their offenses that you start to dislike them. And that's what you're doing. Reading that makes me not care about whatever you're talking about. It makes me think that people that are defending this community are the bad guys. And I know that's not true, but you keep doing stuff that makes you look terrible. Stop. You're not helping. So many people I know that were neutral are becoming hostile to the LGBTQT community because of the behavior of the extremists. Not all of them. Like Dave Chappelle said, it's not everybody. It's the assholes, but man are the assholes vocal. And they really make you look at them and just kind of go like, shut the F up. I don't want to hear nothing about your problems anymore. And that's not what you want when you're trying to fix your problems. Talk about problems. Let's move on to the next subject. (laughs) 